Hey traders, in today's lesson I'm going to show you some technical analysis tips and tricks on how to read charts. This can potentially help us pick some nice winners and avoid some losers, so stay tuned. Hey there, Steven Koitzel here with thetradersplane.com with a brand new video on technical analysis tips and tricks on how to read charts. And I want to welcome you to another lesson. I know that a lot of you have seen some of my previous video lessons, so I want to thank you for stopping by again, and I'm glad to have you. If you're new to the channel or new to any of my lessons, I want to welcome you as well. I want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel as I have plenty of other lessons on technical analysis and other videos on how to trade stocks. So so if you're interested in trading the markets, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification button so you can stay up to date on all my recent training videos. We're going to analyze a few stocks and I want to show you really my process for analyzing a chart. I want to talk about you know the very first thing I look at when I pull a chart up on my screen while I'm going through the scanner. The, the first question I ask myself is, is the chart nice and neat or is it sloppy? And it's a very, very question. I, it's a very simple question to ask yourself. And usually, you can just visualize looking at this chart and say, "Okay, this chart is pretty nice and neat. It has a history of trends, right? It can trend up, it can trend down, but it has a history of trends." And usually, I look at about the last 12 months because I want to gauge, you know, really the personality of the stock. And if a chart is nice and neat. I can, you know, you when I see a breakout like this right here, I'm much more likely to take the trade. Or when you have a breakout right here, I'm much more likely to take a trade. And you know, not all stocks go up forever, so it's completely reasonable for a stock to pull back. But then, you know, it breaks out of this pivot and then it goes up nicely. So, so this is, in my opinion, this passes the sniff test number one on a really nice and neat chart. Again, we're going back about 12 months. Let's look at another example of, of, some, of a chart that is just really nice and neat. Again, this is really the first thing I ask myself. If it's an ugly chart, I'm just absolutely moving on. I'm not even going to go to my next checkpoints. Okay, This is just a way where you can quickly throw a chart in the trash if you want to and because there's always usually something better. So we're looking at life storage. Okay, This is just, just, just a basic REIT stock. So I'm going to ask myself, is it nice and neat and does it have a history of making trends? Okay, so I'm looking at the last 12 months. You can see this is nice and neat, nice and orderly. It's not volatile. You're going to get some pullbacks with the market, right? But for the most part, you have some nice uptrends and then you have a, a very reasonable cut pattern and in a very pretty choppy market uh, here in late April, uh, it's, it's almost at an all time high. So this is a strong stock, a nice and neat chart. It's got a history of making trends. I can put the, you know, the, the first checklist on this. I can put the first check mark on this stock before I move on and look at other things. So the first two stocks, the Costco and the LSI, they look good to me. They're nice and neat. They have a history of trends. Let's look at a stock, a couple stocks that are not nice and neat that I would just I would glance at and within half a second I would just go to the next stock because if something isn't 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 nice and neat, have a nice orderly fashion, um, it's going to be very very hard to trade. And I know everybody loves Amazon, but I hate to tell you, uh, this is a chart that I would just absolutely avoid. And you know it in the it. It does have a previous history, and we're going back several years of going up, but I'm looking in the last 12 months, and this chart looks ugly. It is all over the place, and I think it's important to, to not be biased towards maybe the companies we like. There's a big difference in a good company and a good stock. And over the last 12 months, Amazon has not been a good stock. So whether a, whether a stock is nice and neat or whether it is volatile like this, that really lets us gauge the personality of the stock. So when I'm looking at this, I don't see any trends. I just see choppy price action. It's really, and, and I use stop losses. Like I am a rules based trader, so I'm going to use stop losses. And if you have large volatile swings that are all over the place, and the stock just, it's not nice and neat, it's not making trends, the chances are this stock is probably going to stop you out because it has a recent history of doing so. The personality is ugly. 
I take, I, I mean, I don't even have to look at the other point, the other things on my checklist for this stock. I see this chart. I'm moving on because it's too hard to trade. I like trends. I like rules, and and this is likely going to stop a lot of people out. Let's look at one other stock that just really is volatile and all over the place. All right, Intel. This is a, another very very large name, and I'm using these uh, large names really, you know, as a good example. Is we want to we want to be objective when we're looking at our charts. We don't want to be biased and say, oh, that's a good name, that's a good stock, or that was a previous good. We want to be able to get rid of any ugly looking charts regardless. So you can see right here, I mean, Intel over the last year has been in a downtrend, but even if it's in, even when it's in a downtrend, it is in a volatile, volatile downtrend. Very, very hard to kind of catch that leg up. Even if you were to flip this trend and it were to go up, it's probably and it were going up, it's probably something I would I would still avoid just because it's just kind of really all over the place, right? So again, the first question I'm going to ask myself when I'm going through the scanner is 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 the stock nice and neat? And if yes, then I say okay. Does it have a history of of making trends in the last 12 months? Yes. That gives me a nice checklist that the personality of that stock is my style of stocks because I'm looking for stocks that go up. I'm also looking for stocks that are easy to hold and unlikely to trigger me out. Now, if I get a chart like Amazon, because let's go back to that chart, I think Amazon is even uglier than Intel. I, I, I don't even have to think twice about this. It's volatile, it's all over the place. There's no trends in the last 12 months. It's, it's hard to trade. There's better stuff out there. Okay, there's just better stuff out there like a Costco. Okay, something that has a recent history of making nice trends and something that is easy to hold. And the easy to hold is very, very important because the more volatile a stock is, the more it tugs on our you know, emotional strings, our fear and greed, that trader psychology, and we don't want that. Right? We want to eliminate all these extra things uh, that could poten potentially hurt us. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed this, this very, very simple uh, technical analysis tips and tricks lessons on how to read charts just really quick get that stock out of here or let's let's do some further investigation now if you're new to my channel uh, go ahead and, and hit that subscribe button as well as any notification bell uh, so you can stay up to date on all my recent training videos in addition you can check out my website on the tradersplan.com there's some great training on there you can click the button below and in addition if you have any questions you know feel free to, to leave a comment in the box below I answer all those questions personally or if there's any additional videos you want me to create drop that in the comments below uh, any comments are much appreciated and I will respond to them I hope all is well and I'll see you on the next training session